This is Challen with your FTW moment. <clears throat> I want to talk about something that's pretty serious, at least in most people's minds. And that is the whole concept, the, even just the word of addiction. Now, by this point in time, we've, uh, you know, maybe we familiar, familiarize our kids with the, hey, don't get addicted to drugs, don't get addicted to alcohol, even maybe even caffeine. Even in this world of Starbucks coffee, you know, you have to be careful not to be worried about caffeine. But have you uh, discussed that concept when it comes to the addiction to electronics and technology, especially in the, in, with young kids who have no, no, they're not even anywhere near the you know, illicit drugs or coffee or things like that. Well, you need to, and I'm not afraid to bring that up at our home when it comes to uh, calling my kids out on the carpet when it when they when their behavior starts getting a little bit uh, it starts getting a little bit nasty you know you, you have to as a parent you're up against quite a bit of uh, influence by the internet and online computer games and, and if your kids are already involved with that it, it, no, you have to stay on top of it. No, there's going to be different ways. I'm sure you parents are going to be dealing with that. In my case, I see some value in what my, especially my son is doing. You know, I, well, my daughter's not too heavily involved with it yet, but I see what my son is doing, and he, and by you no, know, by design or by accident, <clears throat> it is one of his passionate interests to do certain things, you know, games and create things on the internet. And so, in my case, I have to identify that, but I also have to uh, make sure I establish some guidelines and, and do what I can, do very much what I can to enforce them so he maintains some sort of balance. Addiction. You want to avoid that. I mean, sometimes we'll be laying out on the couch and like totally energy, energy-less when it comes to anything, but I mean, there are those moments. He's not like that all the time, but when I notice that, you know, I have to alert him that you know, things are not all normal when we have this type of behavior so you know it's a it's a you know it's, it's just kind of a scary word addiction but and you know, what do you expect I mean I at least I, I feel that I've been making a lot of progress helping my son manage his use of the internet and what about you parents that are not doing that or just letting uh, just using technology is like a babysitter. You, I'm gonna tell you, you know, the kids are being, the kids are a guinea pig. Okay, I and I got a whole rant when it comes to kids, our this generation being a guinea pig toward technology, which I'll get into into another FDW uh, uh, video. But as for now, let's just say that no, we don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things, how they're being influenced that are not like any other previous generation. You have to understand that. And to establish some of the values that you grew up with, I'm assuming that you have some healthy values, you can't lose touch with that. Uh, and they're probably going to be a lot more people focused rather than you know, looking at a handheld device focus. So these are really, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor in terms of understanding the science and the psychology. But I'd have enough common sense to know that you have to establish some principles with your kids because if you don't, it's very addicting and very overwhelming their use of technology. And I tell you, man, I got this whole rant, uh, rant about companies just marketing their products. And I understand the whole purpose of business and all that. But as a parent, you're seeing the back end of this and you got to deal with it. So. This is Challenge Your FTW Moment, and I'll see you next time on the next video.